Hi guys, today I want to show you how to install Ultimate Premium ERP on local machine. So first of all, you have must the Zem server for the local machine. You open the Zem server and open this to start button. So after that, you have already the source code of the Ultimate ERP. You open the zip file and you'll see this folder. Uh, inside the folder or file source code available and you must uh, extract this file to and the C drive we are install the XAMPP server so open the C drive and click on the XAMPP server and then click on the htdocs so you'll see the the POS folder already extracted okay you click on this extracted so after that, uh, when it's done, uh, then you uh, open the XAMPP server and click on the MySQL and uh, uh, the same line, the admin button, and you will see this uh, Chrome uh, browser and uh, open this PHP my admin. So after that, you click on the new. Uh, for this, uh, you will must have the database. So I created word one database name uh, POS original uh, like this. You 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 can create any uh, database name. So uh, I'm created uh, smart POS uh, my database name, and after that uh, you see this uh, on HT Docs uh, the the folder name. Uh, like uh, POS uh, you already see and uh, you open this uh, Chrome and uh, you rewrite here uh, the POS uh, slash and install so uh, click on this so you will be uh, seeing this uh, installation appear patch so uh, you see this all requirement is full with a success and you click on the next step uh, it will be move forward to the next step okay the next step is uh, appear you see the following instruction about the installation you will read this carefully and uh, then click on uh, the HD button uh, if you don't have any knowledge about this then you uh, click on the tech installation update service we will provide for you the service um, according to the service fee and click on the HD button and uh, you will see this page uh, the application name you will type here the application name like um, we put POS and the application title is ERP. Um, sorry, um, the application name is POS ERP. Application title is point of cell. You can put any uh, type of name here. Okay, the purchase code uh, will add here from this and the purchase username when you purchase. We will provide the username for it okay so you put it uh, for now uh, to soft it so the local host is uh, already you know local host and the database name is smart pos so uh, then after that you put the database username is already you know about it the database username is root when you installing on the local host okay so uh, should to uh, give it blank the password field and after that you put here admin at the gmail.com you can put any email address then click on the install button okay so uh, it's appear this type of uh, code uh, for the env file you will see this here uh, hi, i need your help please create uh, env file at exam htdocs pos and env with rewrite permission and paste below content press install after it okay so uh, you click on uh, any browser or notepad 
So I'm clicking on this, uh, the notepad, and I copy this complete code, and here I paste it. Uh, you will see uh, the all information is added here uh, but before saving uh, you see the administrator username I just keep uh, it portrait the admin okay and in the next step I will use this username uh, for the super admin okay so I click on the cell and go to the Zem server and HT Docs and then POS so you must pre save it through env file and click on save it okay so now uh, i'm checking this env file is correctly saved or not i just open this uh, htdocs and open the source code file and you'll see the env.txt if you see like this so it's incorrect you must be rename it to remove the txt extension on here and then click on yes done do you want to change yes okay so after that uh, you click on install button the pos installation will be ready uh, within some seconds okay it's nice to see here the application is successfully installed so I click on the register business here you can register a business um, through here for the first time uh, it's very pretty good and uh, I type here and uh, the business name like um, I'm clicking on the uh, POS shop okay uh, like I choose another name uh, like uh, Mega Mart and I'm click on this select the start date and uh, I'm select the currency and the business contact number and after that um, I'm putting Pakistan okay um, Peshawar we can put any uh, address information from here and the landmark is uh, uh, same city that's right okay the time zone uh, we use Karachi you can use from us from any country and click on the next button you will see this business is success okay so uh, from here uh, you can add a text like a text name is VAT and the text number is here and the next one is GST the text number is here okay that's very good financial year start month uh, I choose this uh, June and first in first out uh, that's a uh, stock accounting method I click on this uh, next button you'll see the the business setting is also success and I am clicking here the name like uh, mr. No, Bangers and the username is admin because I was already told to you uh, the we use the admin for the super admin so we put email is admin at the gmail.com and password I keep admin admin okay and click on the register button and um, so okay it's uh, installed it's um, uh, pretty much good and um, I'm logging this now uh, you can put admin admin I click on login button So it will be ready uh, for the home page. Uh, it's very nice looking uh, this ERP. Uh, in the first time you're seeing this, uh, it's pretty much good. You will see all types of um, the sales day and the uh, 
sales current financial years and uh, sell payment due purchase due and all type of things is installed here and uh, you can click this you will see here all type of things um, this all things uh, available I will click on the list products you will see if you have products you will see there all types of product here okay so uh, this is a just a basic installation video uh, in the next video I will talk about uh, the complete how to add products and how to sell it and how to purchase and how to purchase return so thank you for the watching and we'll see you in the next video